what you do. The secondary purpose is whatever you want to achieve through the doing. Whereas the notion of purpose before was also was always associated with future. There is now a deeper purpose that can only be found in the present through the denial of time. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> when you resist the current moment and you choose to complain or be upset or focus on the negative, this is what happens. At worst, and this is also very common, the present moment is treated as if it were the enemy. When you hate what you are doing, complain about your surroundings, curse things that are happening or have happened, or when your internal dialogue consists of shoulds or shouldn'ts, of blaming or accusing, then you are arguing with what is. Arguing with that which is always already the case. You are making life into the enemy and life says war is what you want and war is what you'll get. External reality, which always reflects back to you, your inner state is then experienced as hostile. So if you are one of those people who goes around grumpy that you're not where you want to be, maybe just try and experiment and practice what I'm talking about in this video for one week and see how it changes your life. I really think you're going to be surprised. He goes on to talk about our purpose and I love the way he explains this. To awaken within the dream is our purpose now. When we are awake within the dream, the ego created earth drama comes to an end and a more benign and wondrous dream arises. This is the new earth, okay? When you're present, when your attention is fully in the now, presence will flow into and transform what you do. There will be quality and power in it. You are present when you are doing when what you are doing is not primarily a means to an end, money, prestige, winning, but fulfilling in and, in and of itself when there is joy and aliveness in what you do. So one way you can tap into this happiness um, or peace, whatever you're looking for, is through meditation, okay? Meditation helps us to find this and connect with our inner self more effortlessly the more we sink in and surrender. And this year for me, particularly on a side note, um, I started the year by trying to do meditation and I ended the year finally understanding that you don't do meditation, you relax into meditation. So I encourage you, I'm gonna give you guys some tips. I encourage you, if you take nothing else from this video, sink into some meditation because that alone is going to open up worlds for you. Meditation is a beautiful way of entering into the power of now, being present, connecting to source, connecting to our inner being, which is connected to source. Um, being in the moment, being present, okay? So with meditation, a lot of people <laughs> feel like they have to do it a certain way. And if they don't do it that certain way, they're not doing it right. I'm going to start off by saying there is no right or wrong way. It exists on a spectrum and there are going to be days where you're able to sink in further and there are days when you're not going to be able to. Um, and that can be dependent on, you know, the chaos in your mind or it could just be, it just is and we have to accept it. Um, so with that, I want you to try and go into your meditation practice without judgment. Um, if you lose focus and you start thinking and you're like, crap, I'm not supposed to be thinking, don't judge yourself. Just calmly, softly come back to a state of stillness within, okay? Um, 
because when we try to do meditation, we block the receiving, okay? Because we're doing, we aren't allowing. And we need to allow in order to glean from this what we're trying to glean, okay? Um, so a couple different ways you can get into meditation. Um, my favorite way right now is through sound, um, focusing on a certain sound until you kind of zone out and the sound loses meaning, loses context. The idea of meditation is to slow the craziness of our thoughts, to slow them down. Every single day from the moment we wake up, we have a million thoughts. And have you ever, I'm a list maker. So as soon as I, you know, I'm trying to remember this, this, and this. As soon as I get out my list and I start writing it down, immediately I feel myself relax because I don't have to hold all of those thoughts up in here. I can let them go. And I can also know I can come back to them if I need them. So this is kind of what meditation is all about. We, we are allowing thought to become slower and not so aggressive. Um, think about when you first wake up in the morning or when you're feeling sleepy at the end of the day, your thoughts kind of slow down a little bit. They're not as persistent. They don't feel as heavy. They don't feel as loud. That's the whole point of meditation. It's not to stop thought, um, which was how I interpreted it. And also because of that interpretation, I couldn't fully understand how to sink in because I was like, well, I'm supposed to be thinking no thoughts. We're human, we're gonna think thoughts. Just bring your thoughts back to a place where they're not as sharp. And the whole purpose of this is to, you know, calm our brain, the, the monkey mind, as you know, people call it, so that our body, so our vibration doesn't feel as heavy as all of those thoughts. When we can let all of that go, we can step into joy, okay? So you can follow the fun. That's one way of doing it. You can focus on a sound that means nothing to you or a mantra that means nothing to you um, because if it doesn't mean anything to you, you're not gonna attach thought to it. You can focus on your breath. I tend to get into meditation by feeling. I don't really think too much. I kind of just tune into almost like mind to muscle connection, but tuning into my chest, my heart, my feeling, like where I'm feeling emotionally. And then by tuning into that, I'm no longer thinking about what's in my mind. I'm focused on how my body feels. Um, I'm focused on my breath and because those things are not going to pull me away into thought, I can stay centered, okay? Um, I love this. This is from Abraham Hicks. She encourages us to get to a place where our brain isn't really stimulated, okay? And she says I, she knows that that can be hard because our, our world is, our society is so obsessed with doing and doing and doing. And, and she says this, and this hit me so hard, and I, I hope it resonates with you too. Meditation is a space for worthiness to not need productivity. It's a willingness to just be to just be. And I know that sounds crazy um, because it's not something that we do. We're If we're sitting in silence, most often we have music, we have our phone, we go to the TV, we get a book. There's not very often where we just kind of sit here.